and what he's doing in uh, Black Mountain College. Immediately he will tell us. Uh, I know it because we do it exactly the same thing in Khader. And then we come and talk about this with lunch, one of the lunch. And Kim came from uh, uh, Korea said the same thing. That he do the same thing in Korea. And uh, I think it's a huge opportunity here that we cannot imagine. I will give you a little back, uh, back, back one if someone of you does know. We are in the middle today of a revolution in the higher education. It's not something that we talk here, it's all the way full with this. It's come from one, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the idea of MOOCs. MOOCs, it's uh, massive open online courses. Uh, and uh, the Ivy League University, most of them, into uh, free MOOCs uh, to everywhere. It's beginning to start from with the Udicity, and then uh, they build another organization called Coursera, and then uh, Harvard and MIT get to the play. And now most of the universities in the United States, uh, Ivy League you know, in the United States, and uh, also in Israel, for example, we are university get inside. And that's a revolution because uh, you can take any course with any experts in the world and you can learn with them inside the internet. But we have a, a small problem. The problem is if you go with the computer by yourself, only 7% today try, uh, succeed, succeed to finish and we begin to make, uh, uh, we make an uh, experiment in this world. We say, let's make a, a, a MOOC class. Well, let's make a team that everyone learn by himself at all. And we met together and support one another the learning uh, process. And we, I give you an example, we make a course of... Uh, But a very famous lecture that it was 180,000 students in the course. Eight hundred was from Israel. And, uh, and the course closed. And uh, from the statistic of the world, only 6% finished the, the course. Israel, more than 80% finish the course. So what we done, we connect all the people in Israel that go to take this course, and we begin to make a meeting calls, uh, meetups. But we don't make, make it by luck, we organize it. And, uh, and it was very exciting. Especially now, also, no one understands what will happen with the degrees. Because if you take a, a course in Harvard University free, and you finish it, and you get a degree. So who recognizes it and who will not recognize it? And this is a lot of discussion today. But we know about what will be in the future. The, the, main, the biggest company today in the world it's called Coursera. The CEO of Coursera is Duffy Connor, she is Israeli, and we talk a lot. And, uh, and she said to me that she thinks that it will take four years until Coursera will give a certificate. So all the idea of great certificate, high education become shit. This is one point, okay? Another very important thing that happened today, a lot of graduates from uh, high schools, from uh, universities, find that they have no jobs. Because the university prepared them wonderfully to the past. 
So most of the university prepare you wonderful to the past, to the world that exists jobs that you need to apply to this job, but this world does not exist today. Today, the higher education needs to prepare you to create your job. And that's totally different. So what the common between the three, let's call them alternative, democratic, uh, higher education that we find it now wake up. We talk about, we, I talk about it, maybe they will tell you basically what he done. We say, let's take young people. They can be with degrees, without degrees, and we go with them until they create their job. The goal is to create your job. So the first thing, uh, the first part of what we, we call it search. You study how to find what is interesting. Because we think the most important thing to create your job is to find what interesting you and what you are good and connected. So we use the platform of Ian Cameron, also in the, is in the here. It's called SML, Self-Managed Learning. And then, after you find what you want to learn, it's come the second part. The second part, take books, the best books in the world. You can take the best export in the world and study what you want. But you don't study it by yourself. You create a group that support one another to learn in the MOOC. The third, we build a greenhouse that people can connect together and build their company and go and change the world. So that's the new model that we found very similar or maybe and that's a huge revolution because at this point we can create the next level of democratic school. Uh, it's we can create it, yeah, we, we create the situation that yeah, that people in Finnish and democratic school can go to these places and create their jobs. And what we thought that if we connect in the beginning in different places in the world can also connect to the passion of young people to go to this different place. So if, for example, someone takes a MOOC in Israel, and now we want to be here or half here in the Black Mountain, he can go to the College of Black Mountain and be, uh, be there. And people from the uh, United States can go to Israel. So, because it's learning by computer, and only the group is supporting. So it's very beautiful to support by someone that you don't know, and you learn also a different culture. And that's, we can create the university, the new university of the world, that connect 